Good evening, folks. You'll have to bear with me. I have a uh, little uh, respiratory distress here, so I'm trying not to talk like Nick Nolte did in uh, 48 hours, you know, when he says, come on, convict, let's go. Uh, but that's the way I feel like I'm talking now, so uh, please forgive my voice. My name's Scott Hayes. I have the pleasure of serving as your circuit judge. I have for 12 years now. Uh, prior to that, I was serving as an associate circuit judge for four years. Um, prior to that, public defender, where I represented indigent defendants, and I, re I represented our Constitution. Um, I love our Constitution. Prior to that, assistant processing attorney of Randolph County, where I represented the victims. The victims are always underrepresented. Um, I fought for victims' rights. Uh, Randolph County and, and Howard County's victim advocates really help out a lot there, and I appreciate that. Prior to that, I did uh, both sides of the civil law spectrum. I did, have you been injured? And I've been, you've not been injured enough with insurance companies. So what I'm trying to tell you with that, and, and then prior to that, four years in the Air Force, uh, that's where I got my desire to serve, to serve people is in the Air Force. Um, as far as the legal jobs, I've done everything. I've been there, I've done that. Uh, Every attorney that appears in front of me, most every attorney, I can put myself in their shoes. I know where they're at. I was a young attorney once. I wasn't completely prepared. Um, judges at times have a patriarchal uh, a role in it. Um, they have to help guide the young attorneys. Um, not berate them, not belittle them, but help them with their cases. Um, we're interested in justice. We're interested in passing the torch later because we don't live forever. Uh, but our legal system does, and we want the legal system to be better when we leave it. Um, so what we do, and we're allowed to speak on behalf of the legal system, we can't speak on many issues as judges. We have a lot of rules. Uh, we can't speak with you about cases outside the courtroom because you want your cases tried in the courtroom. So we can't just sit in a local coffee shop and hash out the facts that we can't get into. Uh, but we do get to speak about bettering the legal system, how to change some of the rules, how to make it more user-friendly, because sometimes we think that only the rich and the elite can get into the, the courts. Um, so that's where my role as, and as circuit judge, uh, Mr. Morrill was right. I'm in control of all the scheduling, I'm in control of the courtrooms, I'm in control of how things operate. Thankfully, Mr. Flashcaller, uh, he talked about the O'Toole Award. We've received the O'Toole Award for efficiency every year I've been judged, and I'm proud of that. Uh, one thing I, I do need to uh, give a courtesy to is he brings up the topic of bullying. As judge, I've realized that not only with my commitment, it's required sacrifice. Um, my privacy is sacrificed. The ability to go to Walmart and shop without people looking in my car to see what I'm buying, I don't understand why they do that. but. Um, 24-7 availability, I'm there for law enforcement, I'm there for any questions, I'm there for the attorneys for scheduling. But one of the things that you don't think about is that I sacrifice not only my safety, but my family's safety every day that I deal with some of these uh, heinous people. I mean, I, I deal with really good people that just messed up, that don't really need much guidance from me, but I also deal with people that will just as soon kill you as say hi to you. Um, We've had safety plans in my house for certain people that threatened. But uh, on the topic of bullying, I finally got around to it. Um, I filed for associate circuit judge uh, way back in, in, well, just too long ago. The day after I filed, kids confronted my kids on the playground and said, you're trying to take my daddy's job away from me. They were bullied from the day I filed for judge. Uh, I moved over to the West Trans School District. Uh, my kid's first day at school, he was threatened when he was a freshman. He was threatened by a senior who was going to kick his butt because I had the senior on probation to me. So I know a little bit about that. My family knows a little bit about that, and we've had to deal with that. Uh, that's part of the sacrifices. I'm committed to keeping the community safe. I'm committed to law and order. I'm committed to you all that have put me in this position of trust. I appreciate it. 
and I hope to have your vote and support in the upcoming elections. Thank you.